Okay, we are getting the first tropical storm since 1939, which is way before my time. So I thought I'd make a video about it because why not? Let's talk about what a hurricane is first. In essence, a hurricane is a bunch of organized thunderclouds all moved together. Like it's just a group of thunderclouds, a, cl a click of thunderclouds and NOAA, which is the government agency that deals with weather, they define it as organized thunderclouds that are not separated by a front, which is when air has different densities. It's a lot of physics that I don't want to get into, but basically just think of it as a group of thunderclouds. Depending on the speed of the wind within that group of thunderclouds, that will define what category hurricane it is, or if it's below 39 miles per hour, a tropical storm, which is what we're going to be dealing with in the next 24 hours. Now, obviously California is not known for having hurricanes and you might be asking yourself why because it's on the coast. So the reason why California really doesn't get hurricanes is for two main reasons. And it really deals with how hurricanes gain momentum for lack of a better term. Basically hurricanes need two things that are generally pretty broad. One is warm water or warm enough water. And two is something I'm gonna call non-destructive externalities. Now that may seem really broad and like a really big word, but basically the way that the winds blow in the Pacific don't really create an environment that's conducive for a hurricane because the warm water is needed because a hurricane takes up a bunch of vapor from that water that's being it's warm, so obviously it's going to give off vapor and the hurricane takes that vapor and like, you know, mixes it into itself and it becomes more powerful. We don't really have that in the Pacific because the Pacific is colder than the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. So if you're what so there are pieces right now about Hurricane Hillary that it that talks about, oh well it's gonna slow down to category two because the water is really cold or colder in relation to the Atlantic. So it's I think it's in the high sixties right now, but it it's it's slowing down because the water is colder and there's not a lot of like energy there's not enough energy for the hurricane to keep going, basically. So that's the warm water. The other thing is the winds in the Pacific Ocean kind of rip up any hurricanes that form, for lack of a better term. Because of that, we don't really see them here. So what makes this time different? One, the water is getting hotter because of climate change. So on average, the water has been hotter. So in relation to the Atlantic Ocean, it's not as hot, but it's more conducive than beforehand to create hurricanes. On top of that, we're in El Nino, which shifts the wind patterns. And because of that, it just literally made a perfect storm called Hillary. That's where we are today. So the things that the hurricane has going for it right now, El Nino, which basically has shifted the wind pattern to not rip up this hurricane and the warmer water than usual. The things that it has going against it is that in relation to the Atlantic, the water's colder, so it's slowing down right now. Yeah, that's ba that's basically what it has going against it. <laughs> okay, so here's a clip that I took earlier today. So the edge of the hurricane is on top of us right now. Basically, you, you can see the edge of the hurricane coming because of the clouds, but you can still see the blue sky underneath it. So it's kind of obvious that something is coming. That reminds me, I need to charge my GoPro because I wanna be out in the rain and that's the only waterproof thing that I have. And I don't wanna use my phone for obvious reasons. Okay, it's like 30 minutes later. I don't know if you can hear the wind in my mic, but the entire sky is cloudy. I don't think people are really prepared to what this thing could possibly be. I don't even think I'm prepared because I don't even know. It could just be another rainstorm or it could be pretty bad. Hopefully it's not bad, knock on wood. I don't think we're prepared. I don't even think we're thinking about it. It's like one thing if your community or your state is used to hurricanes, but I don't think we are. We haven't had a hurricane since 1939, tropical storm. It's not something that people here are used to, and that's why I don't think we're like thinking about it too much, but it could be bad, guys. Hopefully it's not bad. Coping, it's like just another rainstorm. Our infrastructure is not prepared for any of this at all. All right, so recently there's been ants climbing up here because it's summer, but they're all gone now and they're usually here, so even they know. So it's like 30 minutes after I recorded that ant video and you can smell the rain coming in. I've never 
experienced this before. Usually when it rains, you can smell the rain. You can smell it even before the rain is here. I had no idea that was a thing. Okay, so Gavin Newsom just declared a state of emergency because of what's happening. And he's basically deploying 350 National Guard troops just to, you know, in case things get bad, just have them on call basically. But that was part one. Tomorrow it's gonna pour and I will be ready with my camera. So make sure you watch that. It'll be linked up here or up here. Or in, definitely in the description and comments when it's uploaded. I will try and edit and upload that as quickly as possible. So make sure to stick around. And if you like this video, watch another video. Make sure to watch, like, and subscribe. And see you guys tomorrow in a hurricane. All right, bye-bye. Okay. My bathroom's open. There's like a truck. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that.